Not sure if the camera will pick us up, but all the bees zipping in and out. And that's just those hives. Not counting these, not counting those. There's some bright oranges and whites. Pollen they're bringing in. We got a little bit of rain yesterday. So they're a little more active today than they've been the last couple of days. You see all the bees just zipping in and out, in and out, zipping in and out. That's what we like to see this time of year. Not been a very strong nectar flow so far, so not looking too promising for any type of fall honey. Um, they've actually been over here working on these. Uh, I'll take you over here and show you this. They've been over here working on these. I usually do a spring or a summertime and then a fall. Sunflowers and these are the ones I planted for fall. They've just started blooming the last couple of days. I've got two of these places. About 3,000 plants between the two different places. This one's probably got, I don't know, 1,500 or 1,000 seeds that, that were planted. I don't know how many of the birds ate, but I can assure you, unless you cover them with straw or something, the birds get a lot of them, so... This was just a, a sunflower mixture. Not really, these aren't really like the big edible kinds, but they do produce quite a bit of pollen that a lot of different honeybees will work them. Some honeybees right there. I saw over here, I saw a yellow jacket right there right there you saw him flying around there's another yellow jacket and a honeybee on that one at the same time um, I saw some hummingbirds over here earlier so these are always pretty good I try to like time it about the I do my summer ones so that they bloom June and July and then I do another batch that I try to get to bloom September into October. So these are the September into October ones. There's a, looks like there's one giant right there. The tallest one is probably an edible sunflower that was in that mixture, but it hasn't even started forming the, uh, the flower yet. A lot of these haven't opened up yet. You can kind of see there. There's a lot of them that haven't opened up. They're just now starting to get blooms on them. But these will last for quite a while. Provides a lot of food for all of the bees. Oh, I just heard the hummingbird again. He come over and zoomed away. You always hear them before you see them.
Also, the monarch butterflies will start their southern trip, so I always try to have something, you know, they might be interested in. And, of course, I've got sugar water up on the uh, hummingbird feeders, which also be starting their trip back south. 